Today on Exchanging Vows, two weddings, 20-somethings versus 40-somethings, planning a dream wedding to win a honeymoon vacation. Hi, I'm Andrea Bain. Welcome to Exchanging Vows, the show where two couples compete to do a better job of planning each other's wedding in order to win a honeymoon vacation. In this episode, Lyle and Lisa are hoping to win their dream honeymoon by planning a dream wedding for a much younger couple. How did they meet? I said, oh, I'd like, you know, would you like to go to the movies? And she says, oh no, um, I'm getting my hair done that night. He thought I was joking. I thought, okay, that's the end of things. But then about three weeks later, she called me up and said, would you like to go to the movies? And she said, I'm paying, so. Still in their 20s, Rob and Christy met at the racetrack where they work, and it was love at first date. We met at work. Um, he had passed by a few times and said, what's up? Or I just figured, you know, he was being nice. And then one day I got a phone message left on my phone. So um, I called him back and we made plans to go out on a date. And everything was perfect. He was a complete gentleman. He was great. And ever since that date, we've been together. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, yeah. Together they have to judge the taste of part-time musicians Lyle and Lisa. They've both been married before and have a fair amount more experience under their belts. Uh, he proposed uh, after he sang a song to me. So I wrote a song specifically for the, um, the evening and okay. taught her the background vocals and then uh, the last line of the song was, Lisa, will you marry me? And Rob's proposal? My uncle's 50th uh, surprise birthday party was coming up. You know, what better time to do it than in front of my family? I walked up to her, I put a rose in her lap, she was sitting down, I knelt down in front of her and I just gave her a speech that she doesn't even remember. Before it was even out of my mouth. Yeah, just, I yes. couldn't believe it. I, I think I did one of these. <laughs> Using information gathered in a brief meeting and answers to some videotape clues, our couples will choose the wedding venue, invitations, flowers, cake, even the wedding dresses for each other. Now it's time to meet our couples. Lisa and Lyle meet Rob and Christy. Come on, have a seat. So the first time you guys are getting the chance to meet, you gotta get out there and ask all the good questions. Make sure you get everything off your mind. You would be a little off the wall, but you guys go ahead. If you could only eat one vegetable for the rest of your life, what would it be? <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with corn. Corn? Corn. corn. Corn, yeah, like niblets or, or on the cob? Actually, I prefer to be on the cob, the peaches and cream. <clears throat> and I'll go with carrots. In, in your family, where do you stand as far as siblings go? Or the oldest, youngest, uh, only? Middle. I'm the oldest. I'm middle. You're middle? middle? Mm -hmm. my, um, my brother is 10 years younger, my sister is 13 years younger. I get along a lot, a lot better with my sister than I do with my brother. She's my little princess. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you guys been wow. together? About nine and a half months. Yeah, it could be one animal, would it be? Tiger is the best, I mean, absolutely my favorite cat. Really? Yeah. I'd be a spider. Reason? Why? You can be anywhere, listen to anything, see anything. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> what about religion? Are you guys religious at all? I would say more spiritual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I tend to be religiously based, yeah. Okay guys, time's up. Did our couples get to know the people sitting across from them well enough to plan their entire wedding? We'll soon find out, but first let's meet the professionals who are going to help our couples along the way. Rob and Christy's plans will be helped along by Natalie Hodge. Lyle and Lisa will be working with Dina Vieira. The first challenge facing our couple is the selection of the wedding venue. They can choose from a manor house, nightclub, boat cruise, or an outdoor wedding. The uh, whole intent and purpose is to plan it as closely as possible to what they intended or what they're dreaming of for their wedding day. So I'm really curious as to how the first uh, introduction went, you know, what kind of information you were uh, able to uncover, and what were they wearing? Well, he was dressed in uh, a checkered shirt, button-down, short sleeve, but he had spiky hair, okay. but he had conservative glasses. Okay. And she had on a sundress and, and sandals. So very casual, and she said that the sandals were her favorite shoes. For the venue, do you think they're casual and laid back to the point where the venue could be a nightclub? Well, not the nightclub. Okay. Outdoors might be nice, but we were really thinking more about the cruise idea. Boat cruise? Yes. yes. Okay. So it's off to the harbor to find a cruise ship. 
The Northern Spirit might just fit the bill. This is the upper level of the Northern Spirit. It's currently set for seating to 128 guests. Right away, Dina spots a problem. How will they get all these people in here so they can actually see the ceremony? Some people may have to stand in the back. Uh, we, um, but I, I prefer everybody to be sitting down, actually. Sure. If it's a gorgeous day like it is today, we have a lot of couples that do opt for the outside deck. Can you fit 120 people up there? Quite easily. Let's go check it out. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yep. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at the view. Awesome. Look at the, look at the, you have lots of space to create any form of uh, center aisle, multiple aisle. Okay. Wow. Adequate seating where that can seat for your view. Really nice is to have sort of the sun going down. Yeah, it's, it's not an unusual request by any means aisle. We have a lot of couples that want that perfect shot and the perfect timing for the correct ideas. Both so much in love, I think that'll be good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's definitely work that in. I yeah, like they're that. Definitely, they're definitely romantic, much like like we are, so it's, it's a good thing that we can think in the same same framework. Let's see if Lyle's right about that. Ta -da. What did you find out about them? They're an older couple. They've uh, been married both before. They're both wearing blue, so I'm thinking that's their favorite color. Um, when we asked him about their favorite animals, he said... Um, tiger. So, a tiger. I don't think they're traditional. They're not... They're, no, well, definitely not. There's the option of doing a wedding, the ceremony, and the reception on a boat. We could also do it at a, a more intimate setting, like a restaurant, nightclub. And they did meet it in a bar. They yeah. did? Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you suggest? The boat sounds like a good idea. Um, even, even the restaurant, depending on the type of restaurant or whatever. I'm thinking the boat. I really Definitely. am. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with that. Jason Bell, nice to meet you both. Hi, nice to meet you, Jason. Nice to meet you. We've set this whole theater style for the ceremony. And right now, it's set for 60 passengers, but we can have seating up to 130, 135 people with the center aisle. I really think that Lisa will like these windows and the fixtures and the lights and everything. I think he'll like it as well. Yeah, yeah there's just got lots of possibilities. So with this main dining deck, uh, it's currently set for about 160 people. Again, it's very bright, similar to the upstairs deck, so you lose nothing in terms of the brightness. Excellent. Yeah. I would, yeah, this I just hope there's nobody in the uh, other wedding party. Oh, yes, yeah. he's yeah. <laughs> yeah, We've never had a, a bride or a groom uh, be uh, unhealthy, if you want to call it that. <laughs> Do you think we're going to win the honeymoon? I hope so. <laughs> Looking good so far with uh, so. choice number one. Well, I feel very confident about this. Let's see what venue each couple was hoping for. We would uh, most likely want to be um, in an outdoor kind of setting, a natural kind of yeah. setting. Maybe not. So, but were Lyle and Lisa yeah, any yeah. closer? The place that we would like to get married would be in a beautiful garden somewhere. Absolutely. I agree 100%. But we've only just begun. With five more challenges to go, it's time to pick out the invitations. Rob and Christy will start by watching some video clues. Was I a picky eater as a child? I don't like eggs. Uh, I won't eat chicken on the bone. Oh no, he's not picky at all. No, I know. I like vegetables though. My favorite book probably would, would say would be the Bible. Wow. I would have to say it's um, the Tao Te Ching. There's so much more to her than oh, this time. is ever going to show us. Mm -hmm. She's very, very deep. My dream vacation would be to spend uh, a week or two on a completely secluded beach down in the tropics where all I had to wear was nothing but a bikini and a sarong. <laughs> I was worried there for a second. <laughs> yoga. Naked. Soak up the sun. Maybe even do some yoga, swim. Maybe doing some uh, Buddhist yeah, theme from the outside and then the script inside would have a Bible. Um, That's a great idea. Right. Something that has, that incorporates both of those so that they're both both sides have a little bit in that invitation. It's very simple, to the point, and sweet, romantic. A romantic, it's got to, yeah. Okay. Invitation's got to portray romance. I think it's perfect. perfect. So simple and rustic it is. They chose rustic rather than elegant, artistic, or fun and funky invitations. That's beautiful, but it's not along the same color it's scheme not. that we're looking for. This one I thought was very cute. That one's really nice. I like the ribbon. Oh, you actually have to open it. That is really cute. It's a nice touch. This one. I love this. It's very rustic. I kind of like that for them. It's not traditional. Yes. And finally, the blue. The blue. The blue. I love the ribbon. I think that's outstanding. Yeah. 
It's pretty, it's princessy, it's fairy taleish. We're going with the blue? I think so. I, think I know. Are. I know. For them, it's gotta be the blue. Faced with a blue option, they've changed their choice from rustic to elegant. Now let's see what Lila and Lisa make of the video clues. My biggest word is money. Uh, I'm not very good at managing money whatsoever. Not at all. Any? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely. He just spends and spends. What can I say? It's amazing how much they're like us. I've always wanted to visit like Nepal, Tibet, Thailand, those exotic places. I kind of got the feeling that he feels very indivi individualistic. That they want something a little bit more unique and different. Yeah. With all those clues, do you think for an invitation style they'd want something fun and funky? That is my first choice when I, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay guys, before I show you the fun and funky style, I wanted to show the other options. This was the rustic invitation. Mm -hmm. For the rustic style, it's got a very outdoorsy type of feel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is the elegant and formal. It's nice. It's nice, but not really what we thought they would like. This is the artistic one. That is nice. That's nice. Yeah. It looks. It looks very uh, eastern. We chose the fun and funky, and I'm so pleased that it's green and blue because it's got that ocean sea kind of theme water you know, it ties theme. into the water theme the print too is is very uh youthful and modern yeah. and i think they'll appreciate that yeah so too yeah so fun invitations for the guy who'd rather have fun than save money and elegant invitations for the romantic spiritual couple who's right i like my invitations would definitely be fun and funky the invitations for the wedding should be formal on cream stock something like that with um, maybe a kind of mauvey purpley writing, and then it's a double flap that opens. Tied with a bow. Tied with a bow, yes. Our couples are tied with four challenges remaining. When we return, Lisa hopes to be an honored maiden in her surprise wedding dress. Lyle had a dress made for me based on the movie uh, Ever After. Oh, he likes to smell wow. For many women, picking out her wedding dress is one of those moments in her life that she plans for and dreams of for a long, long time. But having to pick out a total stranger's dress? That's tough. My favorite birthday present uh, has to have been the year that Lyle took me to Stratford and then also had a dress made for me based on the movie uh, Ever After. Whoa. He likes this movie. Wow. And he had that dress recreated and specifically fit for me without me knowing. I gotta go watch that movie. <laughs> when we walked in there, every single person in that place watched her from the door to where we sat down. Every person. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it was, it was just like a movie. It was, it was just amazing, amazing night. This guy's good. <laughs> the wedding wardrobe options are party dress, sleek, simple gown, ornate gown, or pantsuit. This is really nice, but it mm -hmm. looks like a gown that you would wear for a first wedding, you think? Okay. Yeah, definitely. That's a little prettier. Okay. Like it has that. a little bit of a sleeve to cover her hands uh -huh. if she likes it. It's nice. She, she's then, more, let's go with the other one. <gasps> what do you think? Oh, it's pretty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about this one here? Like this it? is very, very beautiful. Nice. I like that oh, because wow. it's not it's too busy. It's very easy to carry it. I think, she'd, I think she'd love that. That's, That's very fairy tale, and isn't it? Yeah. Very. I think she'd love no. that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's more subdued. Yeah, I yeah. definitely like it. And remember that movie, Ever After? Mm -hmm. That's right. It is. That yeah. she had a flower wreath in her hair. So, what do you guys think? This dress, this little wreathy thing with the a lace. With a lace coming yeah. out, ribbons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ribbons, I sure. really think so. We'll see if they made the right dress choice when Lisa goes for her dress fitting. Let's see how they make out on the flower selection. My favorite pet is my little ferret, Jerry. If you know what a ferret is like, they're off the wall. I like to be around people a lot of the times, but there's, there's moments where you want your solitude, you just don't, like you, everyone has their days, and sometimes I just don't want to be around anyone. Very interesting clues. She said the ferret is just crazy, wild, and, and unpredictable kind of. It sounds like something, yeah, that's that's a surprise or unexpected. Mm -hmm. would, be, uh, would be enjoyable for them. 
Think about a jungle. That's that's the thing. I'm thinking about a jungle. You have these little little smatterings of color in amongst the things on the I'm outside. I'm thinking magentas and pinks. What, what about you? Yes, because that's the color of the season. The flower options are wild and colorful, classic and formal, or all one color. For the actual flowers for the bride, we've decided to go with a traditional look. Okay. Originally, we had talked about a nosegay. So you can go with something that is in roses. One of the things that we talked about, and uh, we, we, we would like to spell out the groom's name in the flowers, his name being Rob, that we would choose a, a flower with an R. Which would be a rose. A, rose. Yes. Mm -hmm. a flower with an O. o. Orchid. 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 Yes. Yay! <laughs> flower, flower with a B. Bells of Ireland. That sounds excellent. The... My dream movie role would probably be uh, I'd love to be in a Harry Potter film. My favorite pet is a cat that we found um, on the, the side of the road on the Trans-Canada Highway at about 4.30 in the morning on the yeah. way back from New Brunswick last year. Amy's so furry. They're very, very romantic. When you think floral, do you feel that they may be modern at all? They like modern things, but yeah. I'm, I, because they are so spiritual and the Buddha yeah. and the yoga and everything, yeah. that would be, it wouldn't be as modern. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what about simple and monochromatic? Absolutely. What do you think? I think that's good. great. We're thinking the color blue. Mm -hmm. um, Definitely just from the color what blue. we've got from them. Something like blue hydrangea, which is simple, elegant. But I think that these the are blue. really pretty. Do you think she'd like roses? How limited are we with the blue when it comes to flowers? I would leave the hydrangea as a blue and blue accent. I wouldn't mm -hmm. start putting yeah. everything, blue. making right. all the flowers blue. So it's classic flowers for Christy and Rob and a monochromatic floral treatment for Lyle and Lisa. Who's right? Flowers, we would like them to look wild and colorful. The flowers uh, should be uh, kind of in the mauve and purple range. Now it's time for the cake round. It's cool I can do all this though. For Halloween, I usually like to dress up as uh, Elvira. I like to I like to do something completely opposite from what people would expect of me. My favorite city is Toronto, definitely. It's like being in the entire world all in one city. I enjoy so many different types of foods. Uh, I thought he said before he was a really picky eater. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Toronto's such a great place to be. I'm thinking maybe for a cake something that people are going to talk about, not something, not a traditional wedding cake, but something. No, oh. definitely not traditional. Yeah. Like funky or probably unique. Picky eater, and then this, he said he likes to try said, everything. Right, and he said that he'd try, he likes going for all different types of foods. So, was he fibbing before or was he telling the truth? Uh huh. Christy and Rob can choose a traditional, homemade style, or unique wedding cake. Hi, Christy. Hi, Rob. Hi. I understand Hi. you're looking for the perfect wedding cake. We know that we want blue and white. Those are our colors. Could we do each tier a different design? Definitely. I would and suggest. That would give it our funky twist. Yeah. I'm thinking taking bits and pieces from these. Agree? I agree. Okay. Here, you can have the cake if you'd like. Um, ice blue. That'd be awesome. Not only does it go with our theme, but I think Lisa and Lyle love that. I would take this cake for myself. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to think if it's a very, very hot day, don't have anything chocolate because then mm -hmm. people will want to be drinking all the time. Mm -hmm. Well, I said they were pick picky eaters, so I don't know if I'd pick a fruit cake. If they are really picky eaters. Trying to throw us off track, guaranteed. <laughs> At a party, I like to be known. I like to be seen. At a party, I like to mingle, but quietly. Um, I let him have all the attention. Mm, okay, and, uh, okay. That's very fine. interesting. My favorite city, either Montreal or Miami. I love Montreal. Just. It's a great party town. It's very European. Now, if we were pleasing Rob, we could go with something wacky and ornate. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. For Christy, traditional might work more for her because yeah. we're going yeah. with the traditional theme for the flowers. Classic normally means it's very simple. Um, covered normally white, more than okay. ivory or color. Can you just flip back to the, yeah. this one here? What would you call that? Um, that's very classic as well, except yeah. cake stands are it's not in at the separated. moment. Really? That's kind of nice. I like mm. the square. What do you square guys think will feed more people than around. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What do you guys think? I think that's good. No, okay. Now, here's the question now. Is it going to look like the packages? No. No. Okay. We're not doing that. Uh, We're, it's just going to look just square. stacked. 
Lyle and Lisa chose a traditional cake to please Christy. Their challengers picked a unique cake for the unconventional couple who may be picky eaters. Let's see who got it right. The wedding cake, I would say, would be more homemade. Yes. Um, I, I hate traditional wedding cakes. Wedding cake, we would like to be wacky and unique, definitely. Yeah. With the most important decisions still to be made, Rob and Christy are now ahead by one. The time has come for Lisa to see the wedding dress that was chosen for her by people she barely knows. Oh my. <laughs> Okay, now let's try it on. I have to hold the dress up. It's too big at the top. <clears throat> but I like it. I think this is too big for you. Although Lisa likes the dress chosen for her, it's unavailable in her size. And with the wedding only days away, she'll have to wear the closest design available. The other one is very nice too. Yeah? It's very, very nice. It's got sleeves. Mm. Well, I can try it. Yes. Okay, come on out. <laughs> come here. Please. Look at my silly tan. Oh no. <sighs> that's from yesterday. And you're just gonna have to use a little bit of makeup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's fine. Was a veil or anything like that picked out for me? I didn't choose a veil for you, but they just they chose the crown. Oh, okay. Which will go on top, and they're thinking of putting a veil on it. Ribbons. Oh, ribbons. So, yeah. I think the the crown might have worked better with the other dress that they had chosen. I could still wear it. Just not as happily. You want to have two bustles? Oh, very nice. And this is Lisa's not bowled over by her dress, but she seems to like it. She wanted a sophisticated and sleek gown, so this ornate dress will not give Robin Christie a point. The wedding gown, uh, I would have to say, would be a sophisticated, sleek wedding gown with simple lines. After the break, will Christie be given the dress of her dreams or the dress of her nightmares? <laughs> Now it's up to Lyle and Lisa to make or break Christie's wedding day as they choose the dress. My worst physical asset. Um, I don't really know. <laughs> that sounds so bad. <laughs> You're not shallow. Um, my hair, because I can't do anything but this with it. If I put curls in it, it's they're done. So the bride's dress. Yeah. I've had ideas about that from the very first moment that I met Christy. Okay. She needs simple lines in her dress, Absolutely. I think, because Absolutely. she's short. I think I think there should be something uh, because she was concerned about her hair. Yeah. Should be should be some a kind of veil or something like that because then. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, I'm glad we're in accordance on. Yeah. <laughs> on this. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, you're the, you're 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 the ladies. You, you know, you're gonna understand that much better. Da, 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 da. Should we do white or ivory? I think definitely white. white? What do you think of this? No. <laughs> cha, cha, cha. What do you think of that? That is probably a little too ornate for Christy. Too much beating. This is fun and youthful. What do you think of that? That's too chicken. beaded, I think. Okay. This one's really nice. Yes. This yeah. one here. Yeah, it's, like it's, really it's, got a nice, it's got a nice shape to it. And this yeah. style is very popular with uh, young women. You it's know, very simple. They're mid-twenties. I'm just really in yes. love with that yes. one. Me too. Yeah, I particularly like the fact that it has this, this nice, that nice curve down there and then the other, yeah. the other parts underneath. Yeah. It, it's it, a nice little detail. Yeah. This is definitely the dress. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. so 100%. this is the dress. 100%. Okay. We'll find out at Christie's Fitting if they've chosen well. In the meantime, let's dress the men. First, Lyle and Lisa watch some videotape clues for Rob's clothing choice. I don't really identify with that many characters. Um, I'd like to think I choose my own path. They broke the mold when they made me, baby. <laughs> Quite an ego. <laughs> I, I would have to list shopping pretty high up there, but it's not that important. I, uh, I like to look at, I like, I like nice things. So, what do you think we should do for the groom then? What's your impression? White tuxedo. Oh, white. White, white tuxedo. You think so? Yes. Ah. Going white is going to be very, very, very obvious. They're going to notice. And you know what? I know, I just feel that his friends are going to go, hey, nice. That looks great, right? Okay. And that's one thing that he'll really, really want. But by going white, 
we don't we don't step on the toes of any other color. See? Lyle quickly decided to go with a tux. Other options available are a business suit, casual clothes, or a traditional ethnic outfit. So you're nice looking for a tuxedo? Yes. White tuxedo. The only white tuxedo we have is that one right there. Mm, which is right there? This one. That style. I'm not really crazy about a full white suit. And the only reason being is when you sit down to eat your dinner, you're likely to spill food yeah. on your lap. True. Yeah, that's why the black, black pants, pants are, are way better. Yep. <laughs> now, do you have any idea what color vest? If he's wearing a vest, bow tie, cummerbund? The, I like the bow tie idea, but um, but I'm definitely open to some suggestions about that. You know, I'm not comfortable with the white, but you guys are my clients, and ultimately we're going to go with, you know, what you have decided. But well, Miami, what what color do people wear, wear in Miami? White. Right. The Don but, Johnson stuff. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, but that was like <laughs> 1984. <laughs> Your dream honeymoon vacation is on the line, and you have to be absolutely comfortable making these objective decisions. Right. So we are. Okay, so, so now you're going your trip. White jacket, black pants, black bow tie. We should go with one of the newer, funkier ties. I think so too. Rob will be wearing a tux to his wedding. How about Lyle? My favorite type of music would be somewhere between classical and rock and roll with world music thrown in in the middle. So that's, I like the music in people's voices. Hmm. People use the word accent sometimes, but I, I, like, I like the music in people's voices. That's actually, so maybe that could be my answer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I kind of see him in a suit, not a tux. Yeah, an open suit, not even, you do see him in a tux? No, not a tux, yeah, not a just tux. a suit. I don't see like him in a tux Like a casual either. suit maybe? So, yeah, something fun though, not something completely. Drab. <laughs> Three button. See, personally, for me, I would like that, but for him, it just doesn't seem him. That's not, not at all. No, it doesn't it's, seem him at all. It's too formal. It's too. I just stiff. don't see him in stri pinstripes. No. I have the perfect suit for you. Charcoal gray. Single breasted. This is a beauty. Notch lapel. Tailored suit. Oh, very nice. I like that one. I like it. What do you think about the shirt? Um, maybe a different, I'm thinking maybe a blue shirt. I don't know why, but for some reason I just don't see him in the tie. <laughs> oh. Jacket. I think it'll look great. Beautiful. I think that would look awesome on him. Oh, I think yeah. he'll like yeah. it too. Yeah. Well, that's perfect. Very, very nice. That suits him so much. Yeah. The tie? Um, I really, I don't know, you guys, what do I'm, you think? I'm, I'm still thinking open collar. Can we see a tie maybe? A then? silver? Yeah, let's sure. try it. I like that color too. Actually, yeah. Very nice color. It's all coming together. <laughs> Sorry to be <laughs> Oh, I love it. I like it. I like it. And it's not too much. Let's go with the tie. Yeah? Yeah. All right, it's all right. That's it right there. Done. 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 The groom at our wedding should wear a traditional kilt. The groom will wear a tux. Definitely a tux. It's the moment of truth for Christy. When we first met Lisa and Lyle, both of us were completely shocked. Because of the generation gap, going into it not knowing what you're going to get is really nerve-wracking, especially when the person that's getting it for you doesn't really know you. I have been a complete nervous wreck. I'm so excited about the actual day. I'm really worried about the stress. I've been having nightmares about it. One dress was five or six layers, and I couldn't get it on, and I had my head through an armhole, and it, oh God, it looked horrible, so I've been, ugh. Oh, I am gonna cry. Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> <laughs> Don't, I'm gonna cry too. Stop it, stop it. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. <laughs> Isn't it perfect? And you're all worried, the age difference, and this and that. <laughs> How much do you love it? Oh, I really love it. That's exactly what I yeah. wanted. I'm so happy. I don't know what to say. I'm just like completely in awe. Well, that's good. This is absolutely amazing. I love this so much. So, Lisa and Lyle definitely have one point, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> They're only allowed one, though. <laughs> this is not the dress of my nightmares. <laughs> this is the dress of my dreams. I love it. It's beautiful. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. When we come back, it's Lyle and Lisa's wedding day. Will it all come together or all fall apart? Ooh. I just didn't think that it would go this, I didn't
didn't think it would go in this direction at all. <laughs> On the day of your wedding, it's normal to have a few nerves, but imagine beginning one of the biggest days of your life without even knowing what you'll be wearing. Hey! Hi there! Hey, Lyle! Nice to How meet you. How are you? Fine. Fine, how are Nervous? you? Nervous? Yeah. So do you think this is what you would have picked for yourself? I don't think I would have even imagined. It's too late for second thoughts. Is it too early for regrets? Say when we started into this, we knew that somebody else is choosing and everything. I just didn't think that it would go in this direction at all. <laughs> This is not what I expected to wear. The gray suit totally surprised me. Actually, I, I don't like the blue shirt with the, with the gray. Oh, ow. Ooh! <laughs> it just landed in my hand. Um, Both sides are taking a lot of effort to try and do the things. I don't want, I, I, I certainly wouldn't want Rob and Christy to have any feeling about this that, that I wasn't happy about it because th that's not nice for them. They're here to enjoy our wedding too. I'm not sorry that we're playing the game. Just. And it may, maybe I'm being very, very petty to be so concerned about the suit. The big, I mean, big thing is going to be for, for, for Lisa. I'm really hoping that, that Lisa got what she, what she wanted. Lisa didn't exactly get the dress she wanted. Now she's on her way to the wedding. But where? You look the best. Thank you. you know where we're going? Maybe it's in a manor house. Yeah, it must be a manor house with a fancy dress like this, oh. right? Do you know where you're going, Joshua? around behind you. What do you see? <laughs> it's huge. The boat's huge. I'm afraid of heights. Hi, Jonathan. As a community of friends are gathered here in God's presence to witness the marriage of Lyle Frederick Gordon Sanders and Lisa Gay Gratrix. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. For the Lord is good, his steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. A family is like an ocean. Each of us in the family is like a wave on the ocean. The ocean is God, and God is love. It's been coming a long time, and you know that I care. I got something to ask you. It's no secret that I want to share. Well, there have been some hard times. Occasional tear, and there's been lots of good times. Oh, the laughter is so dear. Lyle Frederick Gordon Sanders, will you have this woman to be your wife? I will. Lisa Gay Hetricks, will you have this man to be your husband? I will. I love you. Lisa, I give you this ring that you may wear it as a symbol of our marriage. Lyle, I give you this ring that you may wear it as a symbol of our love. Well, it's taken so long just to write these words. The result is now here for you to see. What God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Lisa, will you marry me? Please say yes and marry me. Bob and Christy didn't score any points with their cake or wardrobe choices. What do they think their chances of winning are now? I think it went really well. I don't know if Lyle was too impressed with the suit, which kind of sucks. I have to take responsibility for that. I'm kind of upset about that. To me, he didn't come off as a tux person. At this point, I have no idea. He's still more confident that we've, we've got things more on, but... I, I really don't know at all. I guess we're gonna have to wait to see what happens at our wedding. Hey guys. How are you? Oh, exhausted. Did How you have was a good time? everything? 
It was good. It was great. I mean, I really enjoyed it, but it wasn't what I was expecting. No, <laughs> no. It's just uh, just waiting for us then. Yeah. yeah. Next yeah. week. Yep. Yeah. So are you guys excited? We are. Very yeah. nervous and excited. Same oh. time. You're not nervous to marry him. I'm not, I'm not nervous <laughs> whatsoever. No. When we return, it's Rob and Christie's wedding day. Will they be happier with their boat crew's wedding than Lyle and Lisa were? This dress is beautiful, but who knows what Rob's wearing? Who knows where we're getting married? Who knows what the invitations, the cake, any of those things look like? They could be horrible or they could be beautiful. So it's exciting and it is nerve-wracking. It's my wedding day and it's exciting. <laughs> Because of the threat of showers, Rob and Christie's wedding has been moved from the top deck to the main deck. It's wedding number two, and Lyle is pacing like a nervous father. There is, originally we thought that you were going to choose a couple that was closer to our age, right? And, um, and then when we saw their age, we thought, oh, you know what? From, a, from this point of view, it's easier to be able to look back than it is to be able to look forward to an age that you haven't gotten to yet. We thought that we had the advantage, but I think as we went along, we felt like it was uh, really just a dog's breakfast and we had no idea. We were just going by by our intuition. Then you're always thinking, now is it possible somebody might have said something, or not said just something, to but... to lead you in the wrong direction, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, you never know whether they're, they're playing the game to win or whether they're playing the game to get the wedding that they want. So it's really hard. Wow. I love the bow on top. Oh yeah. It, it, it looks... It, it looks, looks like a real bow. But it's sugar. It's sugar. Fantastic. Oh, that's, that's a good one. I'm sure it's even more amazing inside. Oh, I'll bet you. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I think they're going to love it. I Absolutely. think so, too. Absolutely. They seem like a very, very nice couple, and it would be really nice for them to have a wedding that they can go afterwards and go, wow, we really, really enjoyed that. Rob's nerves aren't quite behaving the way he expected. Uh, I'm a little intoxicated. <laughs> I thought I'd be in control. I am a little bit, I, but you know, the nerves are getting the better of me. Um, I like everything except for when they gave me the jacket. I look like Sonny Crockett from Miami Vice. <laughs> except I'm wearing socks. <laughs> I wanted black. But at least I stand out for my ushers. Yes. Rob likes to stand out and be noticed, just not because of his jacket. White or black, a tux is a tux. So Lyle and Lisa get the point. So while the guests come aboard and begin the revelries, our young bride is on the way to her wedding, but she still has no idea where it will be. We had the photographer come to my parents' place earlier on today, and as I was walking over, my dad, you just see him, like he's like, when we took a picture of the two of us together, he looked at me and his eyes just welled up, and he's, he's so happy. <laughs> but it's hard to see your dad cry, because then it makes you cry. I hope it's a good place. Wherever it is, I hope it's good. I got my dress, so as long as I have my dress, it could be in Chuck E. Cheese. Is this another detour, or are we on a boat? <laughs> it's on a boat? <laughs> is that thunder? No. Is that thunder? It's the snowbirds. Okay. <laughs> That's what Dad thinks about. Okay. You look amazing. Thank you. It's gorgeous. This is your bouquet. Ooh. <laughs> um, it's it's definitely interesting. We took a flower that starts with the first letter in Rob's name. So we've got roses for R. Orchids for O, and then Bells of Ireland for B. So oh. Rob is incorporated into your bouquet. And I like it. <laughs> Unbelievable. You said you were going to cry. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered together this day in the sight of God and in this company to join together this woman and this man in the holiness of marriage. And so I put the question to you. Robbie, will you take Christy to be your wedded wife 
to live together in marriage, loving, comforting, honoring, and respecting her. I will. And Christy, will you take Robbie to be your wedded husband, to live together in marriage, comforting, loving, honoring, and respecting him? I will. May I have the rings, please? Okay. Robbie, as you give Christy this ring, will you say? <laughs> <laughs> it's the sweat. <laughs> With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. And now pronounce them, husband and wife. Will you seal your vows with a kiss? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Bob and Christy sure seem happy with their wedding. Does that mean a honeymoon vacation prize for Lyle and Lisa? How did you like your wedding? I, I'm, th I'm thrilled with it. My dress I, is beautiful. Yes, her dress, phenomenal. Yeah. Set for the white jacket. Ah, really? Yeah. yeah. That was just perfect. I have to confess now, Christy, you told me I did such a great job on the dress. It wasn't myself that chose it. He chose the Was dress. it really? Yes. Wow, thank you. <laughs> thank you so I'm so glad we got paired up with you guys. <laughs> well, we yeah! <laughs> Coming up, we'll see which couple is the winner of a honeymoon vacation. Welcome back to Exchanging Vows and welcome to the moment of truth. You guys have done a great job planning each other's weddings, so congratulations. But we all know only one couple can be the big winner of the Exchanging Vows Challenge and the winner of the honeymoon vacation in Thailand. Let's tally the scores and see who planned the best wedding. You both planned weddings that were fairly formal and classic, but with a few interesting twists. Were the twists in the right places? Let's take a look at venue. You both wanted an outdoor wedding and you both chose boat cruises. Now the invitations. For Rob and Christy, Lyle and Lisa were correct in choosing fun and funky. Christy and Rob also earn a point for choosing the most elegant and formal available option. Lyle and Lisa, if you'd continued to walk on the wild side with choices of flowers, you would have got the points there too. Instead, you opted for something more formal. Christy and Rob, you continued your blue wedding theme with the flower selection, although you didn't use the mauve that Lyle and Lisa were hoping for. The fact that you stuck with one color gives you that round. Neither one of the couples got the cake right. Lisa and Lyle were hoping for something more homemade and less funky, while Christy and Rob were hoping for a wacky cake rather than the traditional one they were given. Now for the clothes. Rob wasn't too keen on the white jacket, but it was a tux that he asked for. So that's a point for Lisa and Lyle. Lyle, on the other hand, wanted a tux or a kilt, not the business suit he was given. So it all comes down to the dresses. While Lisa liked the dress chosen for her, it was more ornate than she'd hoped. But Christy's sleek and sophisticated dress was just what the bride wanted. So congratulations to Lisa and Lyle. You won the trip to Thailand. <laughs> Rob and Christy, thank you so much for being a part of our show. And thank you for joining us on Exchanging Vows. See you next time. <laughs> Exchanging Vows Honeymoon Vacation, courtesy of J Tours and the Tourism Authority of Thailand. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>